Hey guys. So I wanted to give you guys a bit of a review on the last dial, on the last dial that I had, uh, which was the faux locks. And I love them, honestly. I got a lot of compliments on them. The only, my only biggest complaint was that, I, here's the thing, it's kind of like a double-edged sword because my scalp is very tender, so I don't like to have my hair done very tightly. I didn't do them too tight. But that may have been a mistake because some of them were kind of sliding out like a particular one there was one at the back one here one here and it didn't look horrible but i just i like my hair to look neat okay yeah so i ended up with this and i really like it um yeah it was really it's a lot quicker than faux locks and fyi the faux locks are so much easier to take out than they are to put in. Like 10 hours to put in, literally 10 minutes to take out. All I did was pull the roots and then kind of stretch it out and slide it off my hair. And, and it just turned, it was just the twist under that I had to base the hair. But yeah, anyways, uh, enough about that. This video, the rest of the video is gonna be on my new summer do. Okay, I've decided that because I love the faux lock so much and I love this hairstyle so much that I wanted to combine the two and I was actually inspired by this girl. I can't remember her name right now, but I might insert her name somewhere here. Um, yeah, so let's just get right to it. And half of my head is still in the braids that I had before. And half of my head is in in the cornrow slash faux lock that I just did. The pros of the end. Ugh. There you go. I personally like the braids better. I think they're so cute and short and I don't know, I just like the length and the look, like the, the texture. But this is cool because I'm, I don't see anyone with this, so... I'll show you exactly what I did when I'm redoing this side. Um, give me some feedback. Which side do you like better? I don't know. I def I'm definitely going to do my hair like this again, though. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take a little portion of that section I already have parted and part that into three and start a braid. So what I'm going to do is... As I'm continuing the braid, I'm just grabbing or pinching a little piece of the section that's already uh, parted off. And I'm just gonna continue going down. I just don't think about it too much. No, I'm not a pro hairstylist, like I mentioned before in my last video, but you know, sometimes I do, do my thing and it comes out pretty good. So what I do is I just add a piece of Marley hair. And like it's my own hair, I just continue braiding. I don't do anything special to make it stay. You just braid it like it's a part of your own hair. So I just continue going down and adding more hair as I see fit all the way down until I want to, or I get to halfway down the braid and I start adding that curly hair that I want to stick out at the end. The hair I'm using is called uh, Cozy Deep and it's a free truss braid. So I part it into two because it comes already sectioned off and I start braiding it with uh, my already existing braid. So when I reach the bottom of my braid or when I feel like it's long enough, I grab two random pieces of the Marley hair and I just tie it in a knot. And I'll just show you how I do that really quickly. There you go. So yeah, I'm just gonna start the full lock now. So I grab another piece of Marley hair and I, with the braid, and I use the other hair to wrap around my braid, or the end of my cornrow. And I just keep going all the way down. It's pretty straightforward if you saw my other full lock uh, tutorial. But yeah, I'm just doing the same concept, and I just keep adding Marley hair, uh, just till I reach the bottom where I had tied that knot, where the curl's gonna start. So yeah, I just tie it around, and. Then once I reach the bottom, same concept as I did my other video, I just burn off the loose hairs, roll it with my fingers, and then cut off the Marley hair so that it's only the silky curly hair at the ends. And yeah, that's what the final look 
it's gonna come out like. Thanks for watching.